Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Recently, the issue of Chinese lithography machines has been making a lot of noise, making everyone very angry. Originally, the Dutch did not want to join the Americans in framing China, but they were dragged onto the pirate ship by the Americans. Now, the Chinese are forced into a corner and figure out how to deal with this thing. Unexpectedly, they really came up with something, which has confused the global semiconductor industry. The game behind the change of heart of the Netherlands. Speaking of lithography machines, they are the lifeblood of semiconductor chip manufacturing. ASML of the Netherlands has always been the leader in this industry, monopolizing the global high-end lithography machine market. Before, the Dutch were quite loyal and unwilling to follow the Americans to blockade China. But who would have thought that the Dutch would be scared after the Americans put pressure on them with both soft and hard methods? In 2023, the Dutch government announced restrictions on the export of advanced lithography equipment to China. This move has confused the Chinese semiconductor industry. Some experts analyzed that this is a problem. Without high-end lithography machines, our chip manufacturing will stagnate. However, there is always a way out. Just when everyone was frowning, Chinese researchers were not idle. They began to concentrate on studying how to independently develop and repair lithography machines. It is reported that China has successfully repaired a batch of lithography machines that were originally considered unrepairable. The Breakthrough Path of Independent Innovation Speaking of it, this lithography machine is not ordinary complicated. It involves cutting-edge technologies in many fields such as optics, precision machinery, and control systems. An industry insider revealed, take the latest EUV lithography machine, for example, there are more than 100,000 parts in it, and each one must be accurate to the nanometer level. This thing is not something that ordinary people can handle. However, the difficulties did not scare off Chinese researchers. They worked day and night and finally made breakthroughs in some key technologies. It is reported that China has successfully developed a 28 nanometer process lithography machine. Although it is not the most advanced, it can already meet most chip manufacturing needs. As soon as this news came out, the global semiconductor industry was shocked. Some foreign media commented, China's progress in the field of lithography machines is much faster than expected, which may change the pattern of the global semiconductor industry. Chain Reaction of Industrial Chain Reconstruction China's breakthrough in the field of lithography machines is not just a technical victory. It may also trigger the reconstruction of the entire semiconductor industry chain. Some analysts pointed out, if China can really produce lithography machines independently, then its position in the global semiconductor supply chain will be greatly improved. This may cause some countries and regions to reconsider their industrial policies. However, some people are cautious about this. 
Some industry insiders said, the lithography machine is only one part of chip manufacturing, and there is still a long way to go to truly achieve full autonomy. Moreover, technological innovation is a continuous process and cannot be taken lightly. New Trends in International Cooperation Interestingly, just as China's lithography machine technology has made breakthroughs, the Netherlands seems to have made new moves. It is reported that the Dutch government is considering relaxing restrictions on China and allowing ASML to export some lower-end lithography machines to China. This news reminds people of the old saying, when a wall falls, everyone pushes it down, when a wall stands, everyone demolishes it. It seems that in the game of international politics and economy, there are no eternal friends or eternal enemies, only eternal interests. Thoughts on future development Looking back on this wave of lithography machine storm, it must be said that China's semiconductor industry has indeed demonstrated strong resilience and innovation capabilities. However, China cannot be blindly optimistic. After all, in the field of high technology, one step ahead does not mean forever ahead. Some experts pointed out, China's breakthrough in the field of lithography machines is certainly gratifying, but China still needs to continue to exert its strength in many fields, such as materials science and precision manufacturing. Only by comprehensively improving the strength of the entire industrial chain can we truly achieve self-control in the semiconductor field. In the final analysis, scientific and technological innovation is not something that can be achieved overnight. It requires long-term investment, unremitting efforts, and an open and inclusive attitude. I hope that this lithography machine incident can give China some inspiration when facing challenges, it is better to face them head-on than to complain. It is better to be self-reliant than to rely on others. Only in this way can China be invincible in the fierce international competition.